Not only is gardening a way to regenerate the earth, cool the climate, and build healthy soil, it's also a way to heal ourselves emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's shown that people who spend time in the garden often feel more relaxed, less anxious, more grounded, and even more connected. It's really, really powerful to get your hands dirty. Not only is it good for our mental health, it's also shown to be good for our physical health because instead of eating food that's been picked and shipped miles and miles and miles to get to us, we're eating food right out of our own backyard or right off of our uh, the pots on our balcony or maybe off your windowsill if, if that's all you have. Like for example, even though I have this massive 20 acre farm here in the middle of Saskatchewan, in the winter, not much grows outside. Well, Let's be honest, the trees survive, but nothing else really grows outside. But what I can do is I can grow microgreens or sprouts. And so these, for example, delicious squash sprouts. I started growing squash seeds throughout the winter and eating them, putting them in stir fries, just breaking one off and chowing down on it as I walk by it or I toss a few in salads. They're super high in nutrients and they're really yummy and easy to grow. And when I lived in BC, I threw them away, the squash seeds away all the time, or like I composted them. But now I make use of any seed that will grow a little green for me in the winter that I can. I'll, also, uh, we can save food that we grow in our gardens throughout the year. So this is a squash that I grew last year in the garden. And then these are some herbs that I dried super yummy. We've got sage and thyme there and a little bit of uh, rosemary. And uh, on the stove, I have some canned tomatoes that are simmering away to make some really yummy chili with some beans that we dried. So it's amazing the little differences that gardens can make, whether they're really, really big or really, really small. They all make a difference. And I just really encourage you to grow something maybe new that you haven't grown the, grown before or if you've never grown anything before just plant a seed and watch it grow i remember really quick story i remember after i had a, a brain injury in 2003 i was knocked really hard on the head and uh when i first woke up i didn't know who i was didn't know my name and i remember actually having fear in my body planting seeds in the garden because I actually didn't know if they grew. Like I was pretty sure that they grew because I grew up, grew up on an organic vegetable and blueberry farm planting seeds all my life. But I remember actually feeling terrified, not knowing if I was doing it right. Like how deep do I plant these seeds? Where do I plant these seeds? How far apart do I plant these seeds? I couldn't remember anything about planting a seed. And so I just, some, I just kind of guessed. I put seed in the ground. Some of the seeds I planted too close together, like carrots. No, I, let's, not, let's be honest. I planted all my seeds too close together. But you know what the cool thing was? They all grew. They all grew. And I think it doesn't matter what we're growing or where we're at in our gardening and growing our own food process, whether we're a big, massive farmer or if we're a, a, a gardener growing spouts and microgreens on our on our windowsills, it all makes a difference. It makes a huge carbon footprint difference. It helps mitigate our carbon footprint that we're making by cutting down the miles that food travels and by waking up soil so that it can draw down carbon from the atmosphere. I remember one of my, another really quick stories, another one of my girlfriends, what she, her first uh, gardening experience was growing herbs. And that's all she put in the garden was just pots of flowers and herbs and then she started taking those herbs and putting them in her salads and she learned how to put them on on her vegetables after she's seen them and put them with her eggs and um she used them as in, in marinades she used them all in all different types of places and it really evoked and helped nurture a love of food and growing our own food and then the next year she expanded to lettuce and some other edible easily easily grown um, edible foods and pots so it doesn't matter where you are just start plant some food get your hands dirty and have fun doing it be creative be adventurous and see where it takes you big love i'm natalie forspar from heart and soil and i'm really excited you're joining us for the first special issue gardening hacks make yourself an amazing day big love Mwah.